greetings to you wherever you are watching it from. So, a few weeks back, I created a basketball themed birthday cake for a 14 year old. At this stage, as you can see, I have already baked my cakes. Obviously, I have torted them and stacked them, filling them up with buttercream. I am now uh, applying the first coat of ganache using white chocolate ganache and using my straight scraper to, to smooth out the sides and also my offset spatula to smooth out the top of the cake. As you can see, I, go, I went over a number of times to ensure a smooth finish around the top and the sides of my cake. Now at this stage I am applying the second coat of ganache. This time I am using milk chocolate ganache. Again as I did the first time just going through the same process applying it around my cake using my offset spatula and then using my straight scraper to scrape out the sides and also my offset spatula to scrape up the and the top of the cake i am filling and as i'm doing that i am filling out any visible gaps to um, ensure a smooth finish around the cake around the sides and the top of the cake as you would have seen earlier i used a rectangular um, like a rectangular measuring tool that is to ensure that the sides of my cakes are straight i have now proceeded to transferring my cake from my acrylic cake board onto my actual decorating cake drum i, I used my, uh, a little bit of uh, milk chocolate ganache as a kind of adhesive between the board and the actual cake to ensure that there is stability that the cake is, st is stable on the cake drum again what i'm doing here i'm just simply um, applying finishing touches around my uh, ganached cake filling out any visible gap and then scraping out any and uh, lip uh, so that's my finished and um, completed ganache them um, cake I will now proceed now to decorating the cake with fondant. As you can see, I am rolling out a large piece of fondant in a um, circular format. Uh, yes, I am rolling out my fondant and then um, lifting it up. I will, I'm just using my smooth cake smoother to smooth it out and then wetting my my um, ganached cake to create some sort of adhesive on the cake before I drape my rolled up fondant on it. Now I have draped over my rolled up large piece of fondant over my complete, complete ganached cake. As you can see, I am now smoothing that with my hand to ensure that the ganache, sorry, the fondant is properly attached to the ganached cake. I am using my cake smoother to smooth out to smooth around the cake and also at the top to ensure um, as best as I can a sharp edged finish around the edges of the top of my cake. Just doing this in order to do this I am using of course my smoother, my cake smoother and also my flexible or do or sometimes they call it flexi smoother. To ensure a smooth finish around the cake. As you can see I use my power knife to cut off any excess fondant at the base of my cake. Again I am at this stage again using my um, cake smoother and my flexi smoother to, sm to kind of uh, pull out any excess fondant around my the edges of my cake and I'm using my power knife with my flexi smoother to cut off any excess lip. At this point, I am running out a black fondant. This black fond uh, large piece of black fondant. This is going to be used to cover the cake drum. As you can see, the um, cake drum is already covered in black fondant. Again, now I am now applying um, orange pearls around the bottom of my cake, around the bottom of my cake, to create. A border around the bottom. Yes, I have now rolled out a very large piece of fondant and then use an hexagonal sort of like um, 
a square but turn it upside down and um, cut a metal cutter to cut up cut off holes in that large piece of uh, fondant this is to create the impression of a basketball net i've now picked up that large piece of um net and placed draped it over my already covered fondant just going halfway around the cake to create a, like a, a basketball net as you can see i have now then proceeded to using a re red fondant to roll out a very long sausage medium sized really um, thick sausage and then placed it at the edge or top top edge of my cake this is to create the i don't know how to say it, the you know the tip of the basketball net where the net drips over and you can see i am now trying to put to drip over the edge of my net over that long piece of sausage or red long sausage if, if I, for want of a better word to use at this point now i'm just simply uh, checking around my net and making sure it is neat cutting up any flyaways and making sure the anyone that is not properly stuck on the cake is stuck on the cake and just uh, practically make making sure it is looking nice now i want to create the name tag on the cake so i've rolled out a piece of fondant and then um, cut out a black piece of fondant and then fondant and then um cut out a name tag name letters of the better boy's name in red then place it on that black piece of fondant to create a name name tag and i've now used water to apply it on the front of the cake as you can see yes now i now proceeded to creating the board this time around i'm not using cake i'm just using i, I bought a fox or styrofoam um, spherical bowl i've just simply draped over um, orange fondant over it which i imprinted some sort of uh, you know the basketball has some kind of imprint on it so i used one of my rolling pin to create that impression uh, impression on the uh, fondant before i draped it over and as you can see now i have now fully covered the football and then as best as i can apply the black string to make it look like a football oh my apologies basketball to make it look like the basketball that it is so i'm getting to the towards the end of my uh, decoration now i've just cut what i'm doing here i'm just i've just cut some pieces of uh, white fondant to drape around the bottom of my basketball you know to to this is in a way mostly to cover any imperfections and of course um again as a form of decoration and that's my completed cake done hope you like what i've done if you like it please give me a thumbs up or comment i'd like to hear or read from you thank you for watching and do have a great um remainder of the week ahead thank you god bless you bye